What's going on everybody? It is now Wednesday and I have a load going over to Iowa and uh, supposedly I'll be getting a load from Iowa somewhere down towards Texas. Uh, I'll be going home for a couple of days or more than a couple of days. Uh, so, it's been a long couple of months out here on the road. I didn't plan on staying out here this long. It's just, um, with all this coronavirus stuff going on, or whatever you want to call this, corona, beer virus, or CCP virus. Or whatever you want to call this going on I've stopped a couple of times and done laundry while I've been out here on the road oh there's a police man better slow down a little bit uh oh there's a wreck or something uh, there's lights all over the place uh, y'all probably won't be able to see this but I don't feel like switching the camera around just so y'all can see it but Looks like he's got a truck or something pulled over, which is a, a, a little bit of a surprise, you know. He does have a truck pulled over. Let's see what kind of truck he's got pulled over. He has a double wagon YRC. That is very odd. And now there is a car pulled over as well up here. like the car is on the right hand shoulder. I'm trying to let this big truck over so he don't smack the car. There we go. Looks like maybe this uh, wire C truck had a fender bender with this car on the shoulder. Uh, so yeah. I'm headed over here to where am I going? Somewhere in Iowa. Cedar Falls, Iowa. The load's supposed to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning. Right now I am just a little bit to the north east of South Bend or just north of Goshen, Indiana. I'm on the I-90. Uh, or I-80, whatever you want to call this, I-90, I-80. So I went through Ohio on the 7680 turnpike, and I had to pay the damn tolls because the pre-pass, easy pass, whatever you call this piece of shit, uh, box is not working, so I had to pull a ticket and pay the, the toll for the very first time, and years we don't know why the, the thing is not working there's some uh, rumors floating around that somebody forgot to pay the bill or something. I don't know I really don't know I don't really don't care but it looks like for this Indiana turnpike from one end to the other it was like $55 and some change I've got the ticket right here so know how much it's gonna cost uh, yeah, so I try not to play around in too much traffic, so from where I was parked earlier, whenever I did my 10 hour break to where I'm going, is right at 7 hours of driving. That gives me four extra hours to play around in the morning, pick up another load, and get ready to head towards Texas. Damn, these some big ass potholes. This freaking truck behind me, uh, he got in front of me and then he slowed down for no reason. Then I went 
back around him, now he's like glued to my ass. So, it's been crazy. Have y'all been watching the news? There is uh, some story out there that uh, it's going to be mandatory for everybody to take this new vaccine. And if you don't take this vaccine, you're not allowed to return to work. So, yeah, uh, I don't know what what's going to happen with that. And then, have you seen in Florida anything on the news about what's going on down there? They got checkpoints down there and they're doing mobile virus testing in the state of Florida. And then I've also seen reports and read reports and watched videos to where there's residents in Florida that are allowed to go to the beach. But if you do not live in Florida, you're not allowed to go to the beach. You have to show ID to get on the beach. So if you wanna go swimming at the beach in Florida, you have to be a resident of Florida to be able to go to the beach. And then you have to do that social distancing on the beach. Keep that six foot distancing when you're sitting on the beach or doing whatever. Sorry, that was a yawn. Um, so, I've been having some problems with my truck. Um, sometimes I have to start off with my traction control turned off. Otherwise, I'll hit like a bump in the road and it'll freaking slam on the brakes thinking that I'm losing traction when I'm going straight or like when I'm going around a turn and maybe one of the tires isn't spinning faster than the other tire or something. I don't know what's going on. I'm thinking it has something to do a little bit with the ABS on the truck and then also the trash control at the same time. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But I, I do know when I come to a stop in this truck, it's like herky-jerky. It doesn't stop smoothly. It's like it's pulsating all the way to a very stop. I've been in other trucks, uh, so I know what it feels like to have a normal braking truck. So, yeah, it's uh, 1.40 in the morning. This is an uncut live video on my end. Uh, you're not going to get to watch the live end of this. I'm just going to upload it when I get a chance. And uh, it'll be as is. I'm not going to even worry about editing the video. Uh, you can probably see trucks going by. Here goes another one right here. Uh, so I, I set this up on my phone holder. And hopefully the video comes out somewhat smooth. like a fuzzy gray thing sitting on my my shoulder um, oh, I should move it down a little bit it's actually clipped on to my seat belt I have it clipped on to my seat belt right here and uh, it just it just makes it easier for me to have audio or at least equaled out audio to where I don't have to worry about looking at the camera to get my sound up obviously so, if I can find the link for this microphone, I'm on a, I'm on an iPhone. So, if, if you have an iPhone, I'll, I'll put the link up in the description for uh, this video. And then that way, if you want to get one of these microphones, um, you can get it there. Other than that, 
everything has been pretty much as normal as can possibly be. Um, a lot of the truck stops have been requiring masks. And I don't know if you can see it right here, but I, I have a hanger right here. And I, I kept my mask up here hanging. Oh, actually I have another mask right here because I couldn't figure out what I did with that mask. Uh, so I'll hang this mask up there as well. So now I've got two masks. I've got one that's really good mask or somewhat good. And then I've got that cheap blue one right there that I just put up there. I'm not really tired. It's just I'm yawning. It might be because I'm plopping my ears or something. I've got a Red Bull here. Help me stay awake a little bit. sitting off in the fucking woods. I was doing close to 70 when I passed him. Uh, I'm not really worried. It's just this dumbass behind me is like glued to my back bumper. I'm the new uh, front door, I guess. Put the pedal to the metal for a second to get away from this guy. See if he catches back up. But this is the area I have a video of a dash cam video where uh, where I was coming through this area and the pickup truck flew by me. And I was doing like 70, 75. I couldn't remember how fast I was going. But this dude in the pickup truck blew by me, and I didn't think anything of it. This guy just kept barreling down through here. And I'm assuming this cop radared him and pulled out to go and get him. But I didn't know that he was going to get him because as soon as I pass this cop, he pulls out right behind me with his lights going. And I thought I was had. I thought I was getting pulled over. Man, I was shitting bricks. I had my blinker on, I was slowing down, I was moving over onto the side and this cop goes flying by me. I was like, what the hell happened? I'm thinking, man. And then I, it didn't click in my head until I got up to where this other pickup truck was. That this pickup truck blew my doors off and got pulled over and saved my butt but yeah it's been a it's been a long couple of weeks all right so i posted a video about two and a half months ago two months ago something like that about me needing some water everybody you got to realize that that video was made back when you couldn't find no toilet paper you couldn't find any paper products you couldn't find hand sanitizer, alcohol, you couldn't find anything. Uh, you got to realize this. Uh, it was when people were hoarding everything. They were hoarding everything. You couldn't get into anywhere and buy water. There was no water available. Uh, I only had like a gallon left of water in my truck. I had to start buying like apple juice and stuff because there was no water. So I was buying apple juice and feeding my dog apple juice because there was no water available. But uh, I did finally get some bottled water and was able to give my dog some regular water. And then she didn't even want the regular water. She wanted the apple juice. She was happy with just the apple juice. Although she did drink it a little bit faster. This is the asshole that's been dogging my ass. 
Let's see what the name of this truck is. Tom George Tom Transport. TGT Transport. Nationwide roller bed service. Never heard of such a thing. What the hell you need a roller bed for? Uh, looks like the trailer plate is out of Illinois or Maine. One of the two. And now he gets off in front of my ass. He doesn't even get away from me. This dumb trailer 1603, I think is what it says. This guy just coming around me and got over in front of me like four feet away. I hope his ass gets pulled over. I'm gonna back way off. Of course, me. I've got a lead foot. I'm out here flying down the highway in Indiana doing like 72, 73 miles an hour. I'm going to back off on it, get back down in my normal running speed of like 68, 69. That way I don't get jacked with. Let this guy get out there in front of me. And then that way he can be running the front door. tastes like burnt cotton I'll fully saturate the the coil by sucking into it without pushing the button when I hear when I hear it start gargling a little bit where the juice is in there uh, moving around now now it tastes right Yeah, the coil is looking a little black. But I normally make these coils last about two, two and a half, sometimes three weeks. That way I don't have to replace them as often. They normally cost anywhere from $4 up to 6 or $7 a piece wherever you buy them. They're normally about $20 a box. Between 18 and 20 dollars depending on where you buy them uh, I got a place out in California I buy my my stuff from and I can normally get my coils from anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars a box um, I also buy all my juice for my vape uh, from a place look at the stomach he just blew my doors off to get off at the freaking rest area. I knew you was ass was tired. You stupid idiot. You just got off at the rest area. I just woke up. I am not stopping until I get to Iowa. Um, I might stop for a few minutes and get fuel. Um, that'll probably be a couple hours from now at least. I don't know. I haven't looked to see which way my GPS is taking me. Looks like I'm going straight across 80. I'm gonna go through Walcott. So probably get fuel right before Walcott at the Loves. Or one of the Loves up there close to where I'm going. Probably get fuel at the one closest to where I'm going. That way uh, it's the cheapest. I, I got fuel up there Last week, I was up there in Minnesota. I took a load up there close to Minneapolis, St. Paul area. But right now, the weather is really nice outside. It's only like 60 degrees at nighttime. Uh, here lately, it, it, the temperature's been freezing and stuff. 
or or it's been stupid rain and a couple of weeks ago it was snowing and I haven't really had a really bad winter I mean this has been pretty mild I do have to say it's been pretty mild uh, there's been a few days where I had some pretty thick snow and stuff but it was close to my my 14 hour being up so I just shut down and go to bed and wake up to clean roads and just take off and not have to worry about nothing so I've been working for this same company since August of 2018 I had a short break um, let's see 2019 I had a short break between like uh, I don't remember if it was the end of October or the beginning of November but uh, for about a month or a month and a half I took a break from here and went home and decided to go work for another company for just about a month not even a month they, they, uh, they kind of pissed me off I went to go work for a company out of Dallas or Lubbock Texas called uh, Robert Heath and uh, their ELD system quit working in my truck so I was doing the best I could got out to California and the safety man calls me and goes yeah I'm gonna have to have you shut down right where you're sitting for 34 hours I'm like say what I'm in the middle of downtown LA I hadn't had a shower in two or three days uh, actually it was more like two days and there was no food around me and he says you need to shut down for 34 hours I said well here's the situation no food no showers no nothing I'm gonna go to the TA truck stop in Ontario California and then I'll start my 34 hour break and then he's like no you're not moving that truck until you do at least a 10 hour break and then after the 10 hour break you can PC over there to the truck stop I'm like alright bet I'll do that so I took that 10 hour break and I went all the way over there and then they have these online video things that you gotta watch on your telephone and my phone was not working worth a shit to watch these videos every time I'd watch them it would say that I had to rewatch it and then every time I'd rewatch it, it would tell me that I had to rewatch it again. I, was, I got so tired of watching these videos like 20 different times. I just told him, I'm not watching any more of your videos. And he said, well, if you can't watch the videos, you don't need to work here. I said, that's fine. I don't need to watch your videos. And I left. So that's what happened with Robert Heath, basically. They had a screw up with their logbook system and... I just basically ran outlaw yeah outlaw there was one day I ran almost 24 hours straight I had to work over uh, freaking uh, it was either Thanksgiving or Christmas no it was Thanksgiving I had to work over Thanksgiving because I left I left Robert Heath the day before Christmas and I got another job the day after Christmas. So I actually got this job back. Basically, uh, got a phone call from this police, the, this place here. They said, "Hey, what what can we do to get you to come back over here?" And I'm like, um, "Well, you're in luck." I was like, uh, at the time. I was delivering a load for them up in Colorado with this comp or with that last company, and uh, they told me uh, we need you here as soon as possible. Actually, the first time they called me, I was delivering a load in Colorado. The second time, I was on my way back to the yard, and they were like, "We need you to start as soon as possible." I was planning on coming back after the first of the year, but 
I pretty much jumped the gun, cleaned out my truck at the other company, reloaded my truck with pretty much everything I needed, and uh, I was back on the road two days later after Christmas, and I was here working again. So there was only like two days of unemployment. And between the time I left here and the last company I was with only for a month, uh, I had about two weeks of unemployment. But I, I, could, I can actually say that I purposely took off two weeks. I did not want to work for two weeks solid. So, just a little life history of me. I'm almost to the Illinois line. I'm just south of Granger. I'm exactly north of South Bend, Illinois, or Indiana. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what to say, what to talk about. I just feel like making a video and letting everybody know that I'm good. I've been doing good. Uh, freight has been slow a little bit. My paychecks are reflecting that pretty well right now. Uh, normally I make about a thousand dollars or more here and my last two paychecks have been like 800 bucks after taxes. Normally I'm making like $1,200, anywhere between 1200 and say $1,600 after taxes but the last two paychecks have been averaging out to about 800 and some change. I hope y'all didn't see that. I just yawned without opening my mouth. But just that word right there will make you yawn. Well, did y'all hear the news about uh, Pier 1 Imports? Been in business for 58 years. And they're going to be closing down. They're going... I don't know if they're going bankrupt. I don't, I don't think I read that they were going bankrupt. I think what I read was uh, they're just closing down business. They're shutting down all the stores. Uh, there's also a few other companies that I've been reading that are closing up business so let me know what you think in the comments of everything that I've been talking about also what do you think about this this uh, thing that Trump said saying everybody has to take this new uh, new test or new vaccine or whatever it is what the hell there is a travel centers of america truck going down the highway with no lights on just as four ways can you believe that he has no lights on his truck just as four ways i had to like take a double look there travel centers of america needs to get their truck fixed I'm sure it came out of like Gary, Indiana. He's going somewhere to fix some truck somewhere. And he don't even have working lights on his truck. I'm at uh, exit 77, mile marker 78. So basically 78 miles between now and the, the state line. But where where you pay the toll to go into Illinois or get off of this toll is like around the 20 something mile marker so I got about 40 50 more 50 more miles to go up here maybe less I don't remember exactly what mile marker it is I might even be on the 90 
mile markers right now and not the 80 mile markers. South Bend, Indiana. And then there's a sign right below it that says Notre Dame. Feeling lucky? Casino, exit 72. And then right below it, it says closed indefinitely. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't have much more to say. Just wanted to get on here and check on with everybody. Uh, so the truck I'm driving is a 2018 Freightliner Cascadia. And I would have to say if, if the company ever got another truck, I would want it to be another Cascadia. I've only driven two different trucks at this company, or actually no, three. They put me in another truck temporarily, and then they moved me out of that truck because they hired a team to drive that truck. And the team that they hired did not have a full-blown CDL. They had a manual restriction, and it was an automatic truck. So they had to give this truck to them to drive and then what do they do they only work for the company for like a week or two and then take it down to Louisiana and abandon it down there so then the company had to go down and recover the truck which was pretty pretty stupid of them but you know that's what happens you know you work for a company and you uh don't like what you want you gotta get home somehow I guess uh, I wouldn't do it that way I always drive my personal vehicles up to where I'm working and use that as my way of transportation but with all the stuff that I have here in this truck I would probably just get me a U-Haul trailer next time to get home on believe that I've been sitting here talking with y'all for 30 minutes I don't normally wear glasses but I need to get in and see the doctor and see what's going on with my vision it's not really terribly bad or anything these are actually reader glasses and I can see out of them perfectly um, so I don't know what's going on uh, I'm also diabetic and my blood sugar is just about normal right now for me. Uh, it, it got out of whack a couple of months ago. Um, I can't tell you how much it got into, but it was extremely high. I, I ran out of medicine. I had nothing to take. And I, I was thinking that I was doing my diet good by eating the stuff that I was eating but I, I guess it really didn't matter what I ate I needed the medication to go with it but yeah so that's how that went I gotta get over and I'm not even using my blinker to do it there was a truck getting on the highway right back there it's two o'clock in the morning Two o'clock in the morning. I'm going through uh, the western edge of South Bend right now. About to go underneath this bridge that goes over 90. That's all lit up. Might be able to see it in the in the glass as I go by. Here it goes. I'm going underneath it right there.
So I'm going to show you all this microphone real fast, let you all see what it looks like. Hello, audio, test, test, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that is my microphone. It's clipped onto my seat belt. It makes it easier clipping it on the seat belt than it does on my shirt because if I put it on my shirt and then my seat belt goes across it, it rakes it. But right there I'm on my seat belt, it holds it right in place where it needs to be. I just pass another cup. So the set speed limit in Indiana is 65 miles an hour. I currently have my crew set at 68. The car speed limit is 70. So I'm half in the middle, 65 and 70. They don't normally mess with trucks at this speed. So this is what I do. I'm currently now at the 70 mile marker. I was at the 77 or 78 earlier. My GPS says I'm going to arrive at the receiver in almost six hours. I have six hours left on my clock before my 30 minute break. Uh, my other GPS actually says I'll arrive there at 8.33 a.m., which does not include a 30-minute break or a fuel stop. I was going to fuel where I took a nap at, but I decided that I was going to try to get across here as far as I could before I got fuel. So I'll be fueling up somewhere either in Illinois or in Iowa. I don't think I have enough fuel to get all the way into Iowa or all the way to where I'm going, but maybe I do. Uh, the load only weighs about 18,000 pounds, so it's somewhat of a light load, and I show right now I'm getting 6.8 miles per gallon. got the crew set at 68 with a 6.8 mile per hour mile per gallon fuel fuel there so why don't I have music playing in the background most people say well I'll be using this video uncut and it will be going on to It'll be going on to YouTube, and YouTube requires that you have no copyrighted music, and most music that's coming off of the radio is copyrighted, unless you do like me, and I have this little flash drive that I stick into the radio, and I already have some pre-selected music that uh, I play. that is not copyright music. Alright, well, I'm going to get off of here and maybe I'll upload another video later on today. But I just kind of figured I'd come in here and check in with y'all, let y'all know I'm doing good. And I'll probably be home this weekend or sometime next week. Uh, I'll see tomorrow where I'll be picking up and probably make another video for y'all to know what's going on with me. And now I gotta go around the YRC truck. He's going a little slow. Alright, talk to y'all later. Peace.